Hello, you cool cats and kittens. Hello there. Welcome back to more Cook the Quarantine. So thanks to COVID-19, a lot of us have had to readjust what our daily routines are. So there's no more like going to the park or social gatherings and hanging out at the bar or going in, letting up some steam, working out at the gym. There's just a whole mess load of Tiger King being watched and uh, TikTok. And, I mean, Dr. Phil has a TikTok. I personally have been watching this guy and his mom. Name that celebrity. My baby daddy. <laughs> Who did you learn that from? Hey, I heard from you. <laughs> so I have been um, Googling ways to use up stuff in my pantry. And I found some stuff on Google for chickpeas. But then I wanted to find something really weird. And I went to YouTube and it did not disappoint. So who wants to know how to make stuff with chickpeas? Um, I've got some very uh, normal, a normal recipe today and, and two really not normal recipes today. We're gonna start out with a very not normal recipe. First, you want to take a square baking dish and put some parchment paper in the bottom. Get the sides ready so nothing sticks to them. Then you want to take one can of chickpeas, uh, drained, and to that we're going to add two eggs, um, one tablespoon of cornstarch, uh, one teaspoon of baking powder, uh, four tablespoons or a quarter cup of melted butter, and this is where it gets weird because we're going to add a four heaping tablespoons of sugar, just regular granulated sugar. So um, I ran out of space on my SD card and this is not an actual picture of my SD card, but it might as well be. Anyway, not the point. After you add your sugar, you add three tablespoons of cocoa powder and then blend it until everything's nice and, you know, smooth. All right, so that looks pretty good. Probably could have gone better in a food processor, but you know. make a lot of noise and big mess. We got our brownie in here. It smells chocolatey, but also a little bit like coffee, which is kind of interesting. So we're gonna bake this uh, at 365 for about 20 minutes until uh, we put a knife in it and it comes out clean. It's kind of thin, hopefully it puffs up. I don't know. But while that's baking, we're gonna go ahead and make a whipped topping for it. Uh, for this whipped topping recipe, we are going to take um, 12 tablespoons of aquafaba. Um, and aquafaba, if you don't know, is the liquid that comes in the can of garbanzo beans. It can be used um, in a lot of cooking recipes as like uh, a white replacer. It, so you'll watch. It's, it's very interesting if you've never seen it before. Uh, to our 12 tablespoons of aquafaba there, we're going to put it in our stand mixer bowl. We're going to have our whisk attachment. Uh, or if you don't have a stand mixer, you can just do this in your regular, uh, in a bowl with your regular hand mixer. Uh, we're going to add 10 tablespoons of powdered sugar. And I'm kind of curious to see whether or not this tastes like beans when we're done, because uh, I don't know. I've never tried it. Two minutes on low, five minutes on high, two minutes on low. And then we should have a... Uh, we, uh, we should have whipped topping. Can't call it whipped cream because it's not cream. So we're going to mix this up and then see what it tastes like. All right, so minutes later, about nine. Take this off here. Look at that. Well, that just whipped right up, didn't it? I wonder what that tastes like. It doesn't really taste like anything. I mean, it's sweet, but it doesn't taste like beans. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more sugar or, oh, you know what probably would have been good? Like a drop or two of vanilla extract. 
I'm gonna do that now. Okay, yeah, that's better. It tastes like um, like marshmallow fluff. It's really good. So we are going to make homemade baked tortilla chips out of these little mini street taco corn tortilla shells like that. All right, 10, yeah, well, 10. That's, or cut it into fourths. And uh, that should be 40 chips. Uh, and we'll see how they turn out. So what I'm gonna do before I start cutting them up is uh, spray each side here with a little bit of cooking spray. Or you could brush it with um, vegetable oil. If you've got a pastry brush, I don't. And I'm kind of lazy. So now we take a knife and if you have bigger tortillas, uh, cut them into like sixths, but these are just those, the mini tortillas. So I'm gonna cut them into quarters. Like that and then spread them out here on the pan. Preheat your oven to 350. And these are gonna bake for between 12 and 15 minutes until they're brown and crispy. Okay, let's put these in the oven. So, uh, I've got about, I don't know, about half a cup of dry roasted sunflower kernels here that I've mixed up in the processor. Um, so to this, we are gonna add one can of drained chickpeas. Yeah, um, so we're gonna need uh, about a teaspoon of minced garlic, or one, one or two cloves of minced garlic there. Um, I didn't use the already minced kind. And then I've got these roasted red bell peppers here. Um, dice them up. About half a cup to three quarters of a cup of the diced bell peppers. I'm just gonna throw them in there. All right, so got some roasted red bell peppers. And then we need about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon or so cumin. Yeah, that looks good. You can add some cayenne if you want it to be a little bit spicy. I'm just gonna add a little bit of chili powder to it. Yeah, that's good. About a teaspoon. And a quarter of a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. As it's blending, we will stream it. Oh, shoot. That'll work. Uh, as it's mixing, we will stream in Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. All right, Let's see what we got here. Spoon, spoon, spoon. Do I have a spoon? I can't. Um, I really wish the sunflower seeds would have gone and made a paste, but the flavor is really good. Yeah, really good. So. The flavor is very good. The texture is not great, but that's my fault. And these chips, they're very crunchy. They're kind of stale tasting, but I think it's because my tortillas may have been stale. It's all good. It's what I got. It's, uh... All right, the chips are not good, but the hummus is good. If you have tahini, use tahini. If you don't have tahini, I mean, you can leave it out. The sunflower flavor is there. Sunflower seed flavor. I like it, but it does mess with the texture a little bit. So we're gonna sprinkle these roasted red peppers on top. And just a little bit of olive oil right there in the middle. And sprinkle just a dash of Chili powder on top. I think it looks pretty good. Hope you try it. Uh, especially for 
the, the person on my Facebook that said, I have 15 cans of garbanzo beans. What do I do with them? Well, you could at least make hummus. Even if you don't feel like making brownies, oh, we gotta try the brownies. I'm kinda scared about trying the brownies. Okay, let's try brownies. All right, mini chocolate chip. And a little bit of milk here. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna microwave that. They look good. They seem kind of dry though. Got a little bit of this uh, chocolate syrup here that I made in the microwave. Some milk and chocolate chips. Uh, microwave about 30 seconds. Uh, 30 seconds at a time. Yeah, all over the top. Not even a lie. Don't have very much faith in that. In that recipe. A little bit of our of our aquafaba whipped topping right on top. Here it is. A garbanzo bean brownies with aquafaba with topping. All right, let's see if it tastes good. It's good, but it's really dry. Very dry. The flavor is good. I taste zero beans. It doesn't taste like beans at all. It doesn't taste like garbanzo beans. In the slice, it's got good flavor. It's just not, um, there's no moisture to it. I might try it again and put like a tablespoon or two of like vegetable oil in it. That might make it a little bit more uh, rich, but it's not bad. Very good. I like it. But? They are a little dry. <laughs> that is about it. I like them. It's more like a cake brownie that I've left down here. It's a little bit drier without it. Pretty good. You're nicer than I was. Just saying. <laughs> so, here's what we've got today. We made homemade tortilla chips, some uh, really good homemade hummus, and some not the worst brownies I've ever had in my life. So, hey, not bad for two cans of chickpeas, right? I think so. Well, I hope you guys are all staying safe. Uh, staying inside as much as you can and doing your part. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Click that little bell icon there. Uh, that way you know whenever I upload a video. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for more. Hope you guys uh, have a good, have a good quarantine. All right, see you later, bye.